Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Fluid Art Express. Up first you would have seen Taslima from Taslima Maya Art. After me we have Christy from Creations by Christy. Then we have Shannon from Shan B Fluid Art. Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Followed by Tony the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. So stay on board and enjoy the ride. Now, today, I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with some beach swipe coasters. But, what I'm going to do is do them all the same colour. But, I'm going to do the pillows three different ways. Alright, so, what I've got is my pillow paint, which is British Paints Low Sheen. That is a wall paint here. In Australia and I'm going to put a nice big pillow down like that nice big float up now I know when I spin that out it's going to go over the edges no problem at all so you don't really need to go all the way to the edge if you don't want to all right now Beach swipe time. So I'm going to pick out some beachy sort of colours. So I've got a Okinawa Sunset by Eye Candy. So we'll go with a darker type sand here. Now that's a, a colour shift, so it will change colour in the light. All right. Now, we can use a sandy sort of colour, which is mustard, which is more of a, a yellowy sort of colour. Alright, so that's our little beach area. Then we'll throw down some blues. So this is rainbow blue. Skyline blue, which is really a dark one. So that's for our deep water bit at the back. Like that. And then we'll throw some lighter blue around the place. Which is, what do we got? Pacific blue. Do we put a little bit of Pacific blue just in through like that. All right. I reckon we'll just go with them colors. I'll grab my little swipe tool and I'm going to use Amsterdam. Titanium white mixed with Australian Floetrol at roughly three, three and a half to one, something like that. I'm going to put that on my swipe tool and I'm just going to go swipe and then back that way. Then I'm going to grab the black cell activator which is Amsterdam Oxide Black, mixed with Australian Floetrol. Put a light smear of that over the top of it. Like that. And we'll do the same down here. Like that. Give that a bit of time to sink. Alright, so when you've got a big floaty pillow on that, 
it's going to move quite a lot. So what we'll do is give that a spin. Like that. Now if you want more blue or more sandy area, you can do that by moving where your tile is on the spinner. So say you want to get rid of some of that blue, all you do is push it forward, it's now off center, and the weight of the paint is gonna travel that way. Like that. So now we've got a bigger beach area and less water. So we'll pop that one up. So you'll get something like that. But because there was so much pillow there, notice we've lost all the dark areas in the blue. That's all spun off. So what we'll do is do another one, but a different way. Okay, we'll grab that. Get rid of some of this excess off here. Right, we'll grab our pillow paint again. Still the same stuff as we used before. So I'll put that down. Only this time, what I'm gonna do is spin the pillow out first. So now, there's no movement in the pillow. It's already spun out, and our colours are just going to slide over the top of that. They're not actually going to flow with the pillow as it floats off. So we'll grab some colours. Put our blues. Put it rainbow blue. Get some rainbow to it. We'll grab our skyline blue. Where did I just put it? There it is. That's our dark area up the back there. Our mustard color. Which is our sand. Like that. And Oki okay, now a sunset at the bottom. Like that. Okie dokie. Grab our swipe tool again. Put our black on. Let's 
swap that around. <coughs> All right, grab our white. that a little bit of time to settle so now what's going to happen is because you don't have the pillow paint that's going to move only the colors on the top are actually going to move what we'll do is put that down pop some bubbles Bubbles hadn't killed my torch, it would have been good. Dude! Okay, back up. Don't tell Bubbles I've got a backup. It's our secret. All right, so what we're going to do is give that a spin. You'll notice when you've already spun the pillow paint out, you can spin it a lot faster, get it to spread out the way you want it. like that and it gives you a different effect that's because all your colors are moving around and not the pillow so your lace will spread out a lot more doing it this way okay so we'll put that to one side we'll grab another one now this time what we're going to do is not even put a pillow paint down. I know, right? So, don't tell Bubbles I'm using her stick. <laughs> so, we'll start with our Okinawa Sunset. Now by doing it this way, you're going to need to add more color because it's the paint that's going to move around and not the actual pillow. All right, we'll get our mustard. Now I use really, really thick colours, as you can see. Because they tend to hold up really well when you stretch them out and spin them out and do blooms with them and things like that. So this way you are going to use more paint, but for all those people that get little white air bubbles in their um, artwork, you won't get that because there's no pillow paint. No pillow there to cause you bubbles. It's like if you spin the pillow paint out first before you do all this, your chances of getting air bubbles are a lot less. Because you've already spun it out, you can pop the bubbles before you do anything. And you won't have little white dots everywhere when you finish. Alright, 
that should probably be enough. I think that'll spin out all right. So once again, we'll get our black cell activator. Okay. Probably put it on a little bit too thick, but it's all right. It'll sink eventually. Grab our white. some of the black cell activator down a bit like that maybe give it a little bit of a blow alright ok, we'll torch some bubbles that a spin as well now this one you can actually spin really quick and get all the paint to move And that's that one with no pillow paint. So what I'll do is put these all side by side so you can see them. And you can see the difference on how much pillow paint you've had down there to what results you get just by doing it all exactly the same. So as you can see, the one that had the floating pillow, which is the one on the left, you can see how the lace and spread right out as it's all spun. <clears throat> and you lose a lot of the defined lacing through it. Compared to when you spin the pillow out, you've got a more defined lacing through it. And then that one there really defines the lacing. So there's three different ways you can actually approach the same thing using the same colours. All you're doing is changing how much pillow paint you put down. And you get different results just by the amount of pillow paint you put down. If you'd wanted bigger bulbous cells down here, all you had to do was add more paint, add more cell activator, and you would have got bigger cells at the bottom. So, I just thought that would be cool for you to see different results with different things and um, give you a chance to have a bit of a play yourself and experiment and do some tricky bits and pieces. So, all right, guys. Hope you liked that one. If you did, click like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you get to see all my videos as I release them. Up next, we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. 
So if you click on her name in the title of this video, it'll take you to her YouTube page. If you are in the live chat, just click on the link that I put in there. It'll take you directly to the video. Or if you're a member in my group, Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art, I'll be posting the playlist link. So all you have to do is press play all and it plays everybody on the express one after another. That way you just have to click play and watch it all through. You don't have to go chasing links and things like that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Don't forget, we've got Christy up next. We've got an awesome little lineup today, so enjoy the ride. All right, guys. Have fun. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.